Hello, and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artist grow their business. Sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Tuesday, May 3rd. Welcome back. It is great to have you in the new studio, and I'm excited to bring you um, a video today about a great question that I got from A VO's Journey Facebook group. Uh, I think this question is probably on a lot of people's minds, especially if you are newer to voiceover. And the question was, how do I sell my voice when there are more experienced people than me? I think that's a really good question and one that we all battle with and battle honestly throughout our voiceover career. So we're going to be diving into that and I'm going to give you some concrete ways to outsell, get more voiceover work than people that are more experienced than you. All right. So real quick, before we get started, just so you know, we are running a special right now in a VO's Journey Elite Academy. There'll be a link below. Um, 50% off the first month. This academy is, uh, I created it all um, to, to really help voice actors get as much training as they could, live training, as well as recorded tutorials, uh, archives. Um, we have classes on voice acting. We have classes on uh, editing your DAW. We've got classes on marketing, business systems. We have cha uh, monthly challenges. We have um, content made daily on a daily basis just for people in the academy so there's all kinds of wonderful stuff check it out below there's a link we'd love to have you all right so let's dive into this topic and it's one of my favorite topics as well because i'm always um i'm always fascinated with people's ability to beat the odds Right. I, I love that. Um, and there really is I think there really are points or, or, or ways that you can do that that are not solely geared upon you being the best. OK, so let's dive into this. All right. So remember, the question is, how do I sell my voice? How do I get more voice over work when there are people who are way more experienced than me? First and foremost, don't forget that the people that we or clients, the people that are looking for voiceovers, okay, what they are looking for is not the people who are the most experienced, okay? If they were looking for the people that are the most experienced, no one would ever get voiceover work except they were the most experienced, okay? What people are really looking for all right, are people who are easy to work with, people who communicate really well, people who deliver a, a high quality product consistently. Uh, I like to call it the Chick Fil A effect. <laughs> okay, um, if you've been to Chick Fil A, right, you know that you know I, I do enjoy their food. It's 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 good. It's not bad, right? It's good quality product. It's not the best. Right. It's not the best food in the world, but it's a good product. However, Chick-fil-A does an incredibly insane amount of business. And if a Chick-fil-A comes next to your business, I've seen it happen in my area of, you know, where other they're they're next to other um, fast food places. They decimate them. OK, why is that? OK, it, it can't be that their food is that much better. It's not. OK. The reason why is because of their customer service and because they are so easy to work with, they care. They go above and beyond on the service side. Think about it. How many places have you gone where you felt like you were bothering the people that you, you know, that you actually went to to get something from? Like you were bothering them by going to their business, you know, by going to them trying to patron you know patron um be a patron of their business like like you know what i'm talking about like there are there's certain places um that certain we'll just keep on the fast food theme certain drive throughs that you go through where you i honestly feel like i'm bothering them <laughs> for you know for doing what they're asking me to do um and and the same thing happens in voiceover 
okay, or any business, but our business. So the big thing here, the big thing is go above and beyond when it comes to being polite. It's so simple, but yet it's something that is so, um, so few practice it these days, right? Go above and beyond about being polite. Second thing is make sure you communicate effectively. We all falter on this. I falter on this, all right? Especially over the last five and a half months. It's been really bad, all right? My communication has really been poor. And it, you know, and, and there are times in our lives where it gets really hard because of things that are happening. But communication is key. Some things, some little tips I have for communication. I like to communicate a couple of times with a client. Like I like to communicate right after they, you know, um, right after they purchase something, I communicate with them and thank them for their purchase and let them know when I'm, you know, going to be delivering it. Then as I'm work with, when I start working on the project, all right, I let them know that I'm working on the project. Then of course, when I deliver the project, I let them know I delivered the project. Okay. Um, and, and I'm communicating with them and I'm also communicating with them in a polite manner, a thankful manner, and a way that's letting them know what my expectations are, what's mo- what's going to happen next, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So everything is very clear, concise, but there is active communication. There's something, you know, that that a lot of people don't get. And that is vital to your success. These are things that it doesn't matter if you are have you've never done a voiceover before or you've been in the voiceover industry for 30 years that are paramount. No matter how good you are, people don't want to work with buttheads. They don't. But yet that's something that we overlook, I think, a lot. So make that really a part of your business plan, right, is going above and beyond being polite, being thankful. Have you ever ever seen those shows or you ever gone to like a hotel and you, you went to the hotel and there's like signs everywhere. It says, don't do this. Don't do that. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to go there. Don't touch this. You get this feeling that like they don't want you there. You know what I mean? Like you have to remember that yourself too with what you're doing. Don't give the feeling out that people don't want you there. I mean that you don't, excuse me, don't get the feeling to people that you don't want them there. Give them a feeling like you're very happy that they're there. You know, I always talk about people um, when they put up their expectations, which I talked about, which I very, I'm very for. But remember, try to make your expectations positive though too. You know, like, I don't do this. I don't do that. Don't, you know, don't come with me. To, don't come to me with this. Don't come to, you know, don't, I don't do this type of work. I don't do that type of work. I won't accept this. I mean, it begins to really get a feeling, right, of like, I don't want to work with you at all. And people feel that, okay, on a level in which it just, it it, it washes over them and they, I just don't want to work with this person. You know what I mean? And it happens in a split second. So that's very important for you to always put into your business plan is how you treat people, how you communicate and how positive you are with your service. Okay. The second thing is no matter how good you are or how long you have been around, it doesn't matter if no one knows you exist. You can outwork outpace, uh, outbook anyone by getting in front of more people than anyone. I love this because this is more about your hustle than it is about how good you are. Okay. Or how many, you know, how many industry people, uh, like you or something, you know, like it is, it is good to have a great relationship with your peers. Absolutely. Um, And we have a fantastic voiceover community. But in the end, your peers are not the ones who are hiring you, right? Clients are hiring you. So it's really important that they see you. And if they don't know you exist, you are never going to get work. So it's really important that in order for them to know you exist, for you to go above and beyond when it comes to putting out more demos, more samples, more content on more websites, on your website, on other, um, uh, on emails, on phone call, whatever you got to do, put up a billboard on 
<laughs> outside your house. Whatever you got to do to be seen more than anyone else, you will get more work. I love this example and is absolutely true. Whether you are brand new or you've been doing voiceover for a long time, if you're on the front page of Fiverr, you're going to get work, even if you suck. I know that sounds awful and it, you know, it, it might infuriate some people, but it is a truth that you know, biz- we business owners cannot overlook. We live in a day, a day and age where there is so much that's accessible immediately, okay? And because of that and that we can find it, our jobs now are not to be, a, you know, to just to have a product out there. Our jobs now are to be in the, those first few people that um, clients come across when they're looking for work, okay? Because it's going to be too exhausting to go to the hundredth page where you are. They're going to work with the people on the front page. Now, we're not going to get into the control you have over like a site like Fiverr. That's what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about you just getting yourself as many places as you can, putting up as many content and samples and demos as you can, which on a side note means that you got to get good at doing demos and samples okay, on your own. Because paying other people to do <clears throat> 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 demos, I mean, I, I, you know, that's all too much money. Okay, so that means you've got to get good at being your own studio. So putting yourself out everywhere, paramount, more than anyone else. Okay, having excellent customer service, kind, polite, caring, communicating quickly, often having positive expectations. These are things that will help you get more work than anyone who is more experienced than you, than anyone in general. You do those things, you're successful. Plain and simple. Listen, anyone can do this stuff. You can do this stuff. Anyone can. All right. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, Make sure you check out the uh, VO's Journey Elite Academy special we're running. Again, a link below. Hit that like and subscribe button and also hit the notification bell um, and uh, say you want to see every time, you know, I post a video. Because I think if you just hit the subscribe button, it doesn't go to, you have to hit the also the the notification bell. Um, So thank you guys so much again for watching. Check out that special for the Academy and you have a wonderful Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.